Okay, so this is our Six Nations summary for Wales. is one on each of the nations from this year's tournament. There are a lot of stats and graphics in this. I'm not going to talk about every single one of them. This is going to be a fairly quick video, but feel free to pause and have a look at those numbers. Um, you know, some of them um, I put together especially for this video, so you mightn't see them anywhere else. So in terms of Wales's record, they finished fifth. They had one win and four losses. Their average um, was score was 17 to 29 against them. In terms of first halves, it was 7 to 14. And then in the second half, it was 10 to 15. So improved a little bit in the second half. In terms of tries, they were ranked fifth in the tournament. Kicking percentage from the T was third, and discipline was first. Um, and in that case, that's a bad thing because it means they conceded the most penalties in the tournament. They also had three yellow cards. Uh, Liam Williams actually got two of those, and they conceded four free kicks. In terms of possession and territory, um, I won't go through the numbers. We've done that before. We'll just have a quick look at the graph we can see in terms of possession they tended to have less possession in the second half compared to the first and they also tended to have less territory in the second half rather than the first as well in terms of their uh, breakdown at set piece they were ranked fifth for rooks fifth for walls sixth for scrums and sixth for Line out, so a lot of work on for them there. If we look at the graph as well, we can see that their um, scrum and their mall um, went really badly against England, but actually went uh, fairly well against Scotland. And the mall also went well against France. In terms of their attack, then. They were fifth for clean breaks, sixth for defenders beaten, first for offloads, but also sixth for turnovers conceded. In terms of then their uh, kicking, they were ranked fourth. Running, they were sixth. Runs, they were fifth. Meters per run, they were sixth. So not making much ground when they ran the ball. And in passing, they were fourth. If we have a look then at the graphic for their attack, we can see that they kicked 9% of the ball, they ran 39% of it, and they passed 52% of it. So that's actually fairly close to Ireland's numbers, but certainly not um, the same kind of outcome for them. In terms of defence then, they were third for a number of tackles, second for missed tackles, and fifth for tackle percentage. Their worst defensive performance was against Italy and their best was against England. In terms of positives for them then, getting that win against Italy, you know, a lot of people expected them to lose that and if they had have gone through the entire tournament about a win, they would have really been left scratching their heads. Um, but at least they have that to build on. And, you know, against France, although they lost, there were some positives in that game as well um, their second half performances as well they seem to um, improve after the break they just have to you know maybe get a better start to their games and they also did look better in the last two rounds of the competition in terms of the work-ons then uh, set piece is um, a definite one for them discipline too, like uh, too many yellow cards, too many penalties, their attack, um, they seem to be just offloading for the sake but not really getting any, any benefit out of it. And then uh, selection as well, like the team was chopped and changed through the entire tournament and it's very hard to get, you know, any kind of settled team and progress from that. So hopefully they can work on that in the warps for the World Cup.